This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. What's going on everybody? This is Vinylic Puma and today I wanted to make another Fallout 4 video for you guys and today I wanted to go over a unique variant of the Fat Man launcher that's pretty special and that got added with the For Harbor DLC and that is going to be the Striker. So I think the most important question to ask here is what the hell is this thing? And the Striker is a Fat Man launcher that shoots bowling balls. And the ammo for the Striker is the modified bowling ball. Now, this ammo, actually, it can be crafted. However, it requires that you check the terminal near where you acquire the Striker. Otherwise, you're not going to get the schematics in order to make your own modified bowling balls. Now, bowling balls require one acid, one bowling ball, and one oil in order to craft the modified modified bowling ball ammo. Otherwise, um, another good thing about this stuff is that the ammo is reusable provided you can find your bowling balls after a fight. Now, I've had experiences where I've used this in combat and I have lost some bowling balls. Now, since this is a unique weapon and it has a precise location, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the specific location of where you get the striker. Um, just go to the bowling alley that's really close to Far Harbor and then follow the path that I'm showing you here and you should be able to find it pretty easily. Now as far as our stats go, the modified bowling balls have a listed value of 10 bottle caps and a listed weight of 1 pound. Uh, the striker has 100 base damage before perks and it appears only the heavy guns perk increases damage. Now this is unfortunate because uh, with the normal fat man you can increase the damage off of demolition expert as well as the heavy guns perk to where you can get like quadruple the base damage of the fat man. So as far as I can tell your maximum damage is going to be about 200 damage per pound which is pretty bad. Um, now keep in mind this is worse than the harpoon gun and I even said that the harpoon gun wasn't particularly good. Um, at the same time though it is better than the stock and experimental versions of the Fat Man in terms of ammo efficiency, and that's mostly because mini nukes weigh 12 pounds, which is... It's ridiculous. Another thing that's worth looking at here is that the Striker appears to have an upgraded version of the kneecapper effect. Instead of a 20% chance to cripple a leg, the Striker has a 50% chance to cripple a leg. And instead of firing at the leg, I recommend that you shoot at the torso or just like center mass uh, to cripple a leg. Um, I've noticed that when I've tried to shoot at the legs, like the bowling balls will miss for some reason. I don't know if this is like a glitch or what but I found that if you aim directly at the torso you hit and then occasionally it'll cripple an enemy's leg now of course if they're a human enemy or they're like a ghoul or something they can use a stim pack and they can go back to normal and they're no longer clip crippled now all this said in my humble opinion I think you're better off with say like an automatic pipe weapon with a kneecapper effect than a striker because you're going to get a far more reliable way to cripple legs against a wide variety of enemies and 38 caliber ammunition is virtually everywhere and weighs almost nothing. Now in terms of fire rate, range, accuracy, weight, and value, uh, the striker is pretty much identical to a stock fat man except for the fact that the striker is more valuable at 2,512 bottles bottle caps as its listed value and then of course the fat man is only 512 but otherwise the fire rate for both is one the range is the same the accuracy is the same and the weight for both is 30.7 pounds now for another comparison here the fat man's base damage is 468 and as mentioned earlier the strikers is a hundred base damage what I think is so odd and strange about the striker is that the modified bowling ball ammo is actually actually more viable for survival mode than mini nukes as you're dealing 100 damage per pound before perks as opposed to the mini nukes 39 damage per pound. Now that said I wouldn't really rely on this weapon to kill anything tougher than like one enemy at a time and mostly that's just because of the reload speed. It's the same as the fat man's without the same raw amount of power. Like with the fat man you can at least clear a room 
uh, with the bowling ball and the striker, I mean, you're only going to hurt one enemy at a time. Now, obviously, the striker was intended as a joke from the developers. Um, even still, I think there is some interesting potential here that is intriguing. Now, I made a video about a month or two ago, I don't remember exactly when, uh, of some weapons that I'd like to see appear in DLC. And I always thought it would be cool if you could craft ammo for the Fat Man launcher that shot either like Molotov, fire grenades, or cryo grenades uh, at enemies. And the bat owed added bonus of being lighter than the mini nuke ammo as well. I mean, if you could have ammo that fired like a cryogenic grenade or something that weighed one pound and it dealt like 300 damage i mean it wouldn't be as good as your conventional weapons but it would be considerably more viable than those 12 pound mini nukes but again as for the striker itself i think the striker would be really good if it either could be reloaded a little bit faster or dealt significantly more damage like the normal fat man does. Anyway guys, that's gonna pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. As always, take care and I'll see y'all next time.